Today I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, make a bootable USB stick for both uh, UEFI and uh, uh, legacy BIOS. So this particular advantage uh, is uh, that it works in both BIOS systems and also uh, it is uh, very simple in implementation uh, and I'll be using Jamie Pup 32 to uh, demonstrate this. This advantage is that this uh, particular method I'll show you with a stick pup needs to have a uh, starting point of a puppy uh, Linux uh, variant to be able to make a uh, bootable USB stick and it will uh, be able to accommodate save a file but not folder within the USB stick. The information comes from uh, the the Puppy Linux discussion forum under uh, general information getting started and system requirements installing to a bootable USB drive with a save file. It goes through the method that I'll be showing you uh, but if you have a uh, uh, Windows for example I believe you can use uh, Rufus and uh, you can uh, have a uh, this bootable USB uh, drive with a save uh, file function but I don't have Windows and I don't use Windows so I'll stick with a, uh, uh, a puppy Linux the uh, if you do not have a uh, a stick pup uh, application um, with the older uh, puppy Linux, uh, you need to go here, this uh, and uh, install a, pu a frugal pup installer. So this again is limited to a uh, puppy Linux uh, uh, variants. So I'll just show you uh, that I've uh, downloaded and uh, installed uh, FrugalPup 37.pet from the uh, site and it works uh, very well. The uh, What you end up is a uh, USB stick with a both menu list which is for legacy BIOS and grub.cfg uh, which uh, is for a uh, UEFI uh, machine. So the single uh, stick will work both uh, legacy and uh, UEFI BIOS. I, I made a video on uh, uh, making a uh, bootable USB uh, stick uh, for a UEFI machine um, uh, as shown here. Uh, but one of the subscriber I uh, mentioned that uh, it did not work for the uh, for for him. So uh, if the method that I describe here doesn't did not work, you may want to try the method that I will show you uh, uh, now. So we'll go to uh, we'll start the menu here and. Uh, so my menu system uh, is going to look slightly different, but uh, basically what you want to do is go to uh, stick stick pub here. So there uh, didn't find uh, any USB stick. Uh, one of the uh, uh, main advantage uh, is that you don't really need to prepare the uh, USB for any uh, 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 partition or anything. So you just uh, get a uh, USB and then he'll recognize it so we'll have to start it again stick pop and then he's looking for ISO so uh, what we'll uh, do is uh, uh, we should have uh, downloaded one of the uh, ISOs that but we will go ahead and for this uh, exercise we'll go ahead and uh, uh, 
now make sure that you get a UEFI ISO if you just get a uh, one of the older puppy Linux for example Slack or 7.0 without UEFI it will not work so what you want is a uh, uh, Bionic Pup32 for example it does have a UEFI so we'll go ahead and try that and uh, we'll go ahead and plan on uh, putting that into uh, uh, so we will go ahead and use the ISO because we do have the ISO so simply the easiest way is just drag the ISO into the window and it will recognize it so this is what we want to install into the USB stick so here it is and then this is indeed uh, SDC is the stick that I want to go ahead and uh, install Bionic Pop 32 so this is SDC make sure you wipe everything out so so all about to uh, format SDC and install puppy uh, from the uh, UEFI ISO so we'll go ahead and OK to continue and this uh, may take uh, several minutes so it is a, a somewhat of a slow process now the process took about five minutes uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look inside so this is uh, this just a one partition and uh, this is a Bionic Pup uh, 32 uh, UEFI has been installed here and then we'll take a brief look at the Grub CFG and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, Grub uh, so it it uh, it does have the uh, Puppy uh, Bionic Pop32 and also has uh, gives you a choice of uh, system BIOS setup and uh, shut down computer and reboot computer when you reboot a UEFI machine so you have those choices so and I did test this out and it does work uh, well so uh, I think uh, that's uh, it for today